Cyberpunk 2077 runs on Linux, but can face severe performance problems. In my case, it was running with severe stuttering and crashing. Researching the problem, I found that deleting the shader cache can alleviate this problem. In this video, I'll demonstrate the problem, a fix that worked for me, and show how the game runs after deleting the cache. On the next loading screen, you'll see and hear the game stuttering even before it loads the saved game. This is your first clue that you will experience problems. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. As you can see here, the audio and video on the loading screen is completely stopped. It's stuttering so badly. During this interlude, I'll take a moment to go over my hardware and configuration. I'm running the game on an Asus ROG Zephyrus M15 with an i7-10 Sin 50H and NVIDIA GTX 2070 Max-Q. The Linux distribution is Fedora 34, and I'm running the game with Proton 616 by Glorious Eggroll. Video capture is provided by OBS Studio with Intel QuickSync or VA API. And here you can tell from the audio and the GPU overlay up above that the game is running very slowly and with a lot of stutter. Even the HUD is taking an exceptionally long time to load. Here the stutter gets so bad the game suddenly crashes to the desktop. Here I'm going to demonstrate how to delete the shader cache to help improve performance in the situation. There are other ways to fix stutter in Linux including turning off the compositor, but that's a topic for another video. Here I'm changing directories to the shader cache directory, and specifically the Steam ID for Cyberpunk, which is 109.15.000. As you can see, it's filled the shader cache with a bunch of garbage. Here we're going back up to the shader cache directory and deleting the Steam ID containing the bad cache data. Be very careful with the rm-rf command. It can seriously screw up your system if you do it in the wrong directory. Next I'm going to launch the game and demonstrate the improved performance with some gameplay and combat footage. You will notice some initial amusing graphical glitches, but they will straighten themselves out after a couple of minutes. On the next loading screen, you'll notice that there are no more audio glitches, which is a very good sign. Hello, hello. I'm Eric Ekbal, and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailant struck as the parade was in full swing. Notice here that the HUD loads almost instantly, and there is no initial stuttering of any kind. Everything is very smooth, but as you can see, we have some invisible cars, and V's motorcycle is invisible. This will sort itself out in a couple minutes. Everything is very smooth compared to what was happening before. There are a few minor hitches, but that may be due to the software recording I'm using.
Here V notices some criminal activity on her scanner and stops to take a look. As you'll see, however, she accidentally harms a civilian and triggers a police response. V's armor class here is a little over a thousand, so she's not taking a whole lot of damage from the gunfire. Nor will she take much damage from the cops that she's about to run into. He is about to summon her motorbike, and when it appears, you'll notice that it is no longer invisible, which means the graphics issues have sorted themselves out. Like. And that concludes our video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe.